The literature review is a very important part of your learning innovation strategy and plan. It uh, really provides you the foundation to support your ideas. It gives you an opportunity to go to the literature to find key references, key sources, uh, key examples that will validate your makerspace, your blended learning initiative, your computational thinking project, your project-based learning with blended learning initiative, your e-portfolio, whatever your innovation, your learning innovation plan is, the literature review assignment gives you the opportunity to find support for that. Now, we have to really caution you on this. You are not writing an argumentative or opinion essay. A literature review is a well-established form of academic writing. And it's really a review or a synthesis of the literature that talks about your particular subject. So you're really looking at sources that are out there and synthesizing all those key sources and pointing to them. It's not an argumentative or an essay, opinion essay. So please be careful about that. Now, it's a well-established uh, piece of academic writing. And if you were to take a look at the uh, literature review overview at the Purdue OWL site, you'll see that it uh, provides a general context. And sometimes a literature review is part of a research document. And sometimes it can be a standalone document, as it is in this particular assignment. But for the most part, a literature review will follow this type of a format. It has an introduction that ends with a thesis statement. There's a summary or synthesis of the sources in the middle and um, there is a sort of a, a conclusion a paragraph and then your list of references. To give you a context of what the literature review might look like we have provided several examples of the literature review um, on the 5305 example page that you can find um, on Dr. Harapnik my website uh, in the program map area so uh, don't hesitate to look at some of the examples but be careful these examples weren't perfect so they did a great job uh, and some did better than others but they're they give you a sense of what you might want to do um, we also have a ADL uh, 5305 tips and perspectives page where we strongly encourage you to uh, take a look at um, the tips and perspectives and this video that I am creating for you will be on this page and on that page you will see uh, some uh, interesting ideas that will point to the format of a uh, typical essay so take a look at this uh, structure take a look at the tips and the videos that we have use them before you uh, submit your assignment or ideally before you even start working on it, take a look at all this information. Now, to give you a, a very key example of some of the key things that students run into um, is there is a tendency for people to sort of ignore this format here where you have a general information statement or an inverted funnel at the top. Uh, you general statement, you've got some supporting statements, and then you've got a thesis statement. And then you've got your paragraphs within the uh, document or essay that um, are directly related to the three or four or five key points in your thesis statement. And then you invert that process you restate the thesis in a different word it's a summary uh, and then you provide summary and closing uh, information on your topic so this is a format that the literature review should take and to give you an example of what that might look like here are a couple of examples from previous students so this is um, from the uh, literature review from uh, the stem toolkit uh, perspective and this is about computational thinking introductory sentences uh, broad perspective comes down to the to the uh, thesis statement the objective of this review is to explore the foundations of constructivist models of education its impact on computational thinking and how it applies to 21st century needs three key ideas foundations of constructivist models of education well guess what first section in the body of the um, literature review deals with that okay application of technology and constructivist models more of it uh, challenges from technology advances, uh, what computational thinking and applications of computational thinking. So all these key ideas were identified in the thesis statement and um, the uh, student here went to the literature to expand on these ideas. Now if you take a close look at this example, you'll see there are a lot of sources here. Um, 
one of the key things that I'm going to be asking you if you don't cite your sources very well or point to something is that if you have a paragraph or several statements where you're making generalized statements um, and if they are ideas that really came from somewhere else, I'm probably going to say, and I, I agree, but where's your support for that? So you want to support all your statements. Remember, this is not an argumentative essay. Uh, this is a synthesis. So you're going to the literature and you're summarizing. Sometimes you might look at three or four articles and then summarize those articles and then add them to a, a single citation. So it's really a synthesis of ideas. Uh, and then there's a conclusion that sort of reiterates the whole process. Uh, another literature review example um, is uh, similar and general introduction, a couple of paragraphs, three paragraphs, and then the thesis statement. So this review analyzes recent research to show the creation of makerspaces within school maximizes student-centered learning opportunities, facilitates collaboration, allows students to leverage technology in unique, meaningful ways. And they added it also examines uh, for considerations when planning a makerspace. So you're looking at sort of how the makerspaces can impact things. Also, how do you set it up? first section um, of the body, student-centered learning, corresponds with the first key uh, idea within the thesis statement. And as you go through this example, you'll see, again, statements are made, well supported by the literature, um, and, and different sections talk about collaboration, and then there's different sections within the collaboration, technology makerspace. So all the pieces are there. And then the considerations for makerspace. Again, if you, if you go back to the thesis statement, you'll see that this student has outlined where they are taking us as readers. And that's what a good thesis does. It tells the reader where they're going, it gives them an idea, a conceptual framework to hang the information on, and then it takes them there. And then you've got the summary um, within the um, uh, concluding uh, paragraph. Also, references are extremely important. And the references are all, all, all formatted in APA referencing. Use the APA style guide for this. Citations are uh, done according to the APA style guide. We're um, and uh, use whatever is the most current style guide. Uh, There's subtle changes over the years, but again, you can never go wrong with using the most recent style guide. So this is the literature review, and hopefully I provide you some suggestions and tips that will help you to be successful in supporting your ideas for your learning innovation plan.